The main objective of the Caribbean Science Foundation is to help stimulate economic development in the region. And we figure in order to do that, we have to start with the educational system where reform is needed for STEM subjects, that is science, technology, engineering, math, are taught much better and at a much younger age. My name is Tishina Jeffers. Rhea Harris. Kassan Samuel. My name is Yavmi Alitali. Kayla. Mr. Aya Jitta. Mr. Ravindra Manga. I'm from Barbados. I'm from Belize. I'm from Trinidad I'm 16. I'm 17 years old. I'm 15. I'm 16 years old. Here at the Sex Spice program since the beginning of August and it's been a wonderful experience. The program is called Spice. It's a student program for innovation in science and engineering. The subjects that we taught the students was physics, biochemistry, calculus, Mandarin, the one Caribbean concept as a humanities subject, and the hands-on projects were electronics and underwater robotics. <laughs> yes, I like, I read this manual and I would tell him Created this stuff, and he would do the cutting of the wire and the pipes and assemble it together. And then we worked hand in hand to finish. We did some modifications because the first time it wouldn't sink, so we had to add the weight to the back to allow it to hold down on it. So. So we created an LM386 IC, which is uh, basically um, an amplifier. It's going to um, use whatever output we put into it to like produce a sound or something. So we use an, an iPod to um, output music, and basically we had to do all the wiring and stuff to make sure that you know everything was intact. She did all the calculations, finding the center of gravity, finding the trust, the trust of the motors, how far it will sink with just using simple calculations. That's, that's right there. I feel like an engineer. I want to be just like Professor Ward, an electrical engineer. It's very fun. I've learned so much new things. This room is our sleeping room, no. electronics room, robotics room. To work very hard to finish everything this morning and then do one for people. The algorithm that we used to find sponsors was we basically went into countries where the students would come from and we asked companies and organizations there to fund students. So for instance, Belize Telemedia funded a Belize student. Uh, Neil and Massey in Trinidad funded one of the Trinidad students. In Barbados, we had the Central Bank of Barbados sponsor a student and also Williams Industries sponsored a student. And MIT was through the Sea Grant program was generous enough to also sponsor a student. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your future leaders of the region. <laughs> I was very proud of the students and all of their descriptions of their projects. The uh, humanities presentations were really well, done well and very educational. So I have a lot to smile about. And I'm sure the students are equally proud. The month is practically over. Why am I we just It's just it's like it just started yesterday or something. And I'm really thankful. So the plan for 2013 is to grow the program to 20 students. It is hoped that through this SPICE program, 
which is basically the first academic uh, educational program of the Caribbean Science Foundation that the Caribbean Science Foundation is on its way to achieving its goals of getting more students interested in STEM and also ha having them consider entrepreneurship in science and technology as a career and therefore stay in the region or come back to the region after school, create more companies and more jobs in the field. Thank you.